Hi everyone, I'm Nate, president of the Lehigh Valley Rose Society, and I'm here today to talk about cane borer. So cane borer is not a specific insect. There are a couple different varieties of beetles and wasps to which that term would apply. They're very easy to spot in your rose garden. You can see a hole in the center of a cane and what looks like dieback. So today I'm here with Tam O'Shanter, which is a David Austin rose, and I found a sign of cane borer. So if you look here at this cane, you can see a hole going down the center of the cane, and you see some dieback. Unfortunately, that goes down a fair amount. So we're gonna start cutting. And what you wanna do is you wanna cut until the cane is completely white on the center with no signs of a hole and no more signs of any sort of dead tissue. So luckily, that was not too bad. This still doesn't look the healthiest, so I'm gonna cut it back a little bit more. While I'm at it, I'm gonna hit a few more spots that could do a bit of light pruning. With 47 roses in our backyard and another 22 in our front yard, you never run out of things to do. So, as you can see here, there's a hole in the cane telltale sign of cane borer right there. And we've cut down to here when there's no more sign, which means they are somewhere inside the cane here. I have some good photos that I took in the Bethlehem Rose Garden last year when I found cane borer. And I split the cane open that I cut and took some pictures So they burrow down the center of the cane, and if you don't catch them in time, they can go all the way down to the crown and um, potentially kill your rose. We had Princess Alexandra of Kent out front, which um, luckily it did not get down to the crown, but it got pretty darn close. Um, so we had to cut back fairly low onto that cane and lost several seemingly healthy new canes that branched off of that one with lots of buds so that was rather unfortunate but again you have to do what you have to do to make sure that the rose overall survives so thank you for joining us today if you have any questions or comments you can leave them on our youtube video down at the bottom or you can email us at info at lvrosesociety.org Thanks for joining us today. Pictured here is Twilight Zone, a grandiflora from Weeks Roses in Nate's front yard with clear signs of cane borer damage.